What if I told you you can smooth your 3D prints to a high gloss finish with no Bondo, no primer, no paint, and even no clear coat? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here to tell you that you can do all those things I just said before, and I'm gonna prove it to you. So in this video, we're gonna work our way from our lowest grit sandpaper, let's say 80 grit, and go all the way up until we get to 2000 grit sandpaper. So my end goal with this video is to see if the sandpaper method is a viable or practical way to smooth your 3D prints. Okay, so to do this test, I 3D printed two identical fear shapes. One is printed at two millimeter layer height. Now it has some stepping and some layer lines that we're gonna have to smooth out just by sanding. On the other ball is gonna be our control. What I'm gonna do with this is sand it, bondo, prime it, and paint it just like I do any other 3D print. Also, to give this one an advantage, I printed it at a variable layer height using Bamboo Studio. What that means is, as it gets up to the top, it's going to shrink the layer height by each layer to the top. So it gives it a smooth, rounded finish. That should help out a lot. So now what we're gonna get ready to do is start sanding this one with 80 grit. Okay guys, so real quick, I just finished up with 120 grit sandpaper. I've done both of them at 120 and it feels extra smooth. So for the one that I normally do with Bondo, I'm gonna stop right here because I need to apply the Bondo and acetone method. For this one, I'm gonna continue on with the sandpaper, but real quick, I wanna talk about how much detail I had to spend on this one just because I know that I'm not going to be using any Bondo, so I want to make sure I knock down each and every layer line, especially starting with the 80 grit sandpaper. I spent about 30 minutes and I wanted to look and make sure that I got those first initial layer lines knocked all the way down before I switched over to 120. Once I reached 120, I did the same exact thing, it just didn't take me as long, but I wanted to make sure, make positively sure that I was able to knock it down as far as I can. Next, we're gonna just continue to bump up. I have 180 and then we go to 220. So let's just keep going and knocking these layer lines down. All right guys, so I just finished the non-primer one with 220 grit sandpaper. So for my control, after I hit it with the acetone and Bondo, I sanded that down with 220 grit sandpaper. And then once I sanded that all the way done, I went ahead and used my primer filler and then hit it with a thick, heavy coat of primer filler. I did such a good job sanding it that I don't have to do multiple coats of this. I'm gonna wet sand this down and with 220 and then I'm gonna hit it with a second pass of 400 and then this is gonna be ready for paint and almost finished. This guy on the other hand, we gotta do some more sanding.
y'all, we are now finished. So after doing all of this, I can actually say, I didn't think that this was actually gonna work. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get this fear as smooth as I would if I were to use Bondo, Acetone, Filler Primer, but I did. The only problem that I had was actually getting it polished. I need to work on my polishing skills because if I did, I would have been able to get it just as shiny as if I did it with clear coat. But as far as smoothness goes, it is smooth or even smoother than the one that has the clear coat on top of it. So it worked out just the same. It's just not as shiny. So for the control, I did it just like I do all my other prints, which is sand it down with 80 grit sandpaper, then bump it up to 120, then use the acetone Bondo method, sand that down with 220, spray it down with filler primer, then sand that down with a wet sand of 220, then bump it up to 400. If that didn't do it, then I'll do another pass of a filler primer. But I've done this a while, so I was able to get it down all the way. Then I sprayed it with some red paint and then a clear coat of 1K clear. Normally I do my 2K clear, but I wasn't gonna waste a whole bunch of 2K for a test print. And of course, it came out immaculate. Not a layer line on it. FYI, for this test print, I used the top half of a Pokeball. Well, they're both the same halves, but I used a Pokeball that I got from Thingiverse. Now, if we can compare the raw print next to my just sand only print, you can see the level of smoothness from both. Right here is a raw print. Over here, we can see just smooth with hand sanding. Now, I went through so much sandpaper, it's ridiculous. And my hand cramped up so bad, it, it really hurt. Normally when I do my sanding, I use a power sander, but in this case, I wanted to just do it with hand sanding because for the effect. But the results speak for themselves. Practically, no, I would not do just sanding by itself. I would also go with the sanding than the Bondo because it's faster and more efficient and sandpaper costs a lot of money and my hand and my cramps. So what do you guys think of the results? Leave them down in the comments. Do you like the hand sand or would you rather go with the Bondo acetone and filler primer? Let me know down in the comments. Is there another test that you want me to test out to see if it's actually practical or not? Also leave that down in the comments. So there's a different method that I've heard and that's using acetone vapor or alcohol vapor to smooth your 3D prints. Now that's taking the alcohol and it's gonna smooth it all over and make it shiny just like this one, but just using the vapors. So I'm definitely gonna try that one next. If you guys like this video and you learned something, please smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel and then turn on that bell notification so you know when I do my next upload. It helps out and it lets YouTube know to recommend my video to other people. You guys have been so great and if you guys wanna see which type of glues to use for your 3D prints, click on the video right here. Everybody have a great rest of your day. God bless you guys. Peace out.